maybe you remember that or know what I'm talking about, but it was sort of a different welcoming committee. Hello there, Tool Army. It's Lauren here. Welcome back for a little different kind of tool video today. Yesterday marked the one year anniversary of my first tool reaction video, so I thought it might be fun for you and a little fun for me to revisit my first tool reaction and just see how I have grown. I remember thinking that there is no way that any song will ever be better than The Pot. I have come to realize that that is simply not true. I know that I was very confused, so that hasn't changed at all. So let's just see. I missed the lyrics entirely because I was so just just captured by the bass there. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another random person listening to a random song on YouTube. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to try a Tool song. I have heard this band before, but only two songs that I'm aware of. The Pot, the Pot is one of my favorite songs. That bass line is crazy. I love, love, love The Pot. The other one I've heard, I don't know the title, but it's the one about the pieces. So I'm looking forward to this one because I don't know much about this band. If you're new here, welcome. There's just two main things that I like to say before my videos. One is that I pause the video so I can talk about things. Two is that my reactions are very subdued. So if you like the people that really go crazy, you will be disappointed. But if you're looking for a genuine reaction, someone that talks about what they're hearing, then uh, stick around. This is I go a little Anima. Crazy I think that's how you say videos. it. I don't know. I've probably embarrassed myself already by mispronouncing the remember. title. That's a good I start. I'm hoping this. that it has a good bass line. I think that's it. I think I'm ready. I have the lyrics Always. here. Always. So I can try to figure those out. It's a long one. Strap in. Mocha okay. here. And go. Just going. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. Not much has changed about my videos. It's, it's interesting. I still don't know how to say the name of this song. My Tool face. That's just the face I make when I listen to Tool in general. I just had to stall a little bit more. What was that? <laughs> okay. I think this is going to be a trip. <laughs> Base. Calm down. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I'm stopping it already. They didn't disappoint oh with the bass. Oh, I love the bass so much. I mean, it's not the pot. But so uh, the beginning of know. this, what was that? I wasn't sure. I thought maybe I had the wrong, like I wasn't even playing the right thing. <laughs> what was that? That was bizarre. But uh, the music I really, really like. Um, I missed the lyrics mm. entirely because I was so just, just captured by the bass there. Some say the end is near. Some say we'll see Armageddon soon. I certainly hope we will. I could sure use a vacation from this. <laughs> when did this come out? These lyrics sort of work. I think any time, but especially today. I might start this over, actually. I'm going to start it over. All right, and go. It's funny, when I used to start the song over, I would just start it over, and we would all listen to it. This is the first time I've heard this song in quite a while. Hello, Mocha. I just, I do not listen to this song. I can't tell you the last time I heard this song, so this is fun, just to hear the song again, even though I have to sit through my incredibly cringeworthy commentary. It is interesting to see how much I've not changed when it comes to Tool. Are you gonna sit down? We're starting the song over again. I just, I'm surprised that I moved my head like at all. I moved my head more then than I do today, which is I thought would be the other way around. Like, as I get more comfortable, I would move my head more. Loving the bass. Hi. Still on the thunder here. Oh, 
my god. Please stop moving your head. Okay, I, I'm honest on this channel. I'm honest here, always honest. The For chorus, sure. the, the the whole we call LA. I don't know, I'm just not really, it's not really grabbing me like the verses are. And I don't know if it's the way that it's sung, the melody, I don't know. It's, but the verses I really, really like. I, I like how they're the sung. Same. And the last um, verse with the fret the for your one. insert thing here. Uh, I really like that. Like, just the materialistic crap that people care about. So, I mean, what I'm getting from this is just, you know, the superficial people with their meaningless things that sort of drive their whole world. And, I mean, is, is that what they're getting at? You know, people in in L.A., you know, that sort of lifestyle. The three-ring circus sideshow of freaks. <laughs> Try to say that three times fast. Go. Will this get easier? I don't know. Watching yourself. When I'm editing the video, as soon as I make it, like, I'm okay with watching myself. But going back and seeing older ones, it's just like, oh my god, what are you doing? I sort of had the same exact feeling about this song a year later. When I first started making videos, I was very much into trying to dissect lyrics. And I learned quickly, especially with tool videos, not to do that. Because, for one thing, I rarely know what I'm talking about. And so it's just asking for a lot of people to step in and say, no, you're incredibly wrong, especially on a Tool video. Other bands, some, but especially with Tool, I appreciate the passion, I do. But uh, I just learned quickly, I didn't know with this video, but I learned quickly not to mention lyrics because it was just not worth it. So yeah, but I'm seeing some of that in here, me like trying to figure out what this all means. Any fucking time, any fucking day. It's like the beginning. I'm very observant. the drums hello <laughs> like the drumming in here <laughs> i knew it i knew it it is kind of interesting that the some of those lyrics are still um, it can apply to today. <laughs> I seem to look more confused then than I do now. Like I was afraid to be in frame. Like I need a booster chair or something. And my camera's just tilted up. <sighs> the lyrics 
jokes here. I'm getting a this little lost good. now. At the beginning, I was like, oh, I'm, I got this. And now the learn to swim thing, unless that means, you know, you need to to learn how to do this on your own, get out of your own mess. That's my uh, interpretation just right off the bat. Probably wrong, but, you, you know, give it a shot. Give it a shot. All right, let's get back to it. And you go. explained it to me, but now I don't remember. It's been a year ago. But I don't think I was correct. I don't remember. I know when I first started posting tool videos, I had a lot of negative comments from people who just thought that I I wasn't smart enough to listen to tool, like just really nasty things like you know, telling someone that they're not smart enough to listen to a song is just like, who are you? Who are you? You don't tell someone that. Like, eh, rude. Unfortunately, I had sort of a not so great first impression of the Tool army because of that. It didn't take me long to realize that Tool fans were not like maggots whatsoever. That maggots were very accepting of me, even from the very first video. But Tool fans, on the other hand, were very like, I don't know if if we're going to accept you into the circle. You know what I mean? And that was very surprising to me. I'm over it now because I'm just like, I'm going to listen to these songs and you can just not watch the video, you know, like get over yourselves. So that's sort of what I'm remembering from watching this. Not so much the video itself, but just the reaction that it got. It's definitely better now because I think people realize sort of where I'm coming from, what I'm all about, how my videos are. But when I first started, it was uh, quite a different experience <laughs> from the, the comment section. If you've been here a while, maybe you remember that or know what I'm talking about. But it was sort of a different welcoming committee compared to Maggots, for example, in my Slipknot videos. <laughs> this guy, I didn't even know what his name was. That's funny. I just want to tap my chin and like stretch your mouth. I think. <laughs> Now, ridiculous. of course, again, I could be way off with my analysis here, probably am. But I yep. think we've yep. all sort of been in a place where we just want it all to go away. Whatever kind of situation you're in where you're just like, I just want all of this to stop. I just want all of this to go away. I can't deal with it anymore. That's, that's what I'm getting from the song. I think the speaker here is just fed up with these people and their phony problems. And he's just the like... Speaker. Just just get rid of all these people. I need a vacation. Where's the Armageddon? <laughs> I'm done with it. Which I think is a very human feeling. Maybe not to wish Armageddon. That's not a human feeling. <laughs> but the whole idea of just wanting a break from some all of the crap that you have to deal with or the crap that's going on with other people. And it's not really so much your life but it's just like other people and how they deal with things and their lives. All right, let's 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 keep going. I think something's about to happen I agree. here. And go. Always. Always. Sorry, pause and a pause and a pause. I love that I don't know what his name is. That's hilarious to me. And this guy. And then also I called him the speaker. It's very easy to just assume that an author or a poet, the if there is a first person, that it's the author or the poet. But it's it's not. The author is not the character. It's more prevalent in a poem. So the I in the poem is not the poet. The I is the speaker's point of view. There's a little bonus thing that no one really asked for, but that's why I said that. I mean, a lot of the time the I in in a song is the singer because it's their opinion, their perspective, whatever, but not always. So um, that's why I said the speaker. In case you were wondering, now you know. I was right. Yeah, 
I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the lyrics is what I'm doing. Just like shut the door, I'm done. I have to be honest, it's not the pot. The pot is just so oh, the pot is so great, so so amazing. I love that song. But I I like the the message here. If I'm if I'm correct, I really like this line at the end. Don't just call me a pessimist. Try to read between the lines. So you know, the way that I'm feeling, don't just write it off as me being pessimistic. Why do you have to have such a negative opinion of the world? It's like, no, it's more than that. This is more than just me being irritated. <laughs> I have a point here. Don't you see? As a pessimist myself, I relate to this. So I, I like the message of it, at That's least my interpretation true. of the message of it. Still I like how they do long songs. I'm a fan of the long song. They sort of take you on a journey, you know, like we're about to experience something. Yeah, I don't I'm, I'm going I to know. listen to this again and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. I just re-listened to Anima. It's a good song. I really like the feel of it and the message of it if I'm right. One thing I did not say before is this guy's voice. Like he can do the real soft spoken and then just like totally hit you. He has a very versatile voice. Really like it. I mean, it's very pleasant sounding and he has quite a range. If I had never heard a Tool song, I think I would have a totally different reaction to this, but just comparing it to the pod is so unfair. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I definitely think Tool is a very interesting, unique band, and I would, I'd really like to check out some more Tool songs, especially ones that have a really cool bass line. Give me some Tool bait. So thank you for the Tool suggestion, All of them. and I will be doing more reaction videos. Really enjoying this. I'm enjoying talking to you in the comments. So I say this every time, but I'm still so blown away that anybody's watching me. Thanks for checking this one out. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I will see you for the next one. Now that I've survived that experience, a lot of what I said about the song, I still feel these, the same exact way, which is pretty interesting. If this was a song that I'd listened to a lot, I might have a different opinion, but I guess it's not so surprising that I feel the same way about it a year after the fact. What I'm noticing the most is that I'm definitely moving a lot more than I thought I did at the beginning. I was trying to dissect the lyrics a lot more in the beginning, but other than that, I feel like I'm pretty much the same as when I started. Hopefully I've learned about the band more than I knew the first time. I at least know Maynard's name. I do think it's funny that I, I specifically asked for a Tool song that had a good bass line. Like, that would be all of the Tool songs have a good bass line. I know that now. I just want to thank you guys for joining me on this Tool journey. And if you, if you've been with me, since this video, the first time I did this video, let me know in the comments. Because like I said in the video, I just can't believe anybody would watch these early videos and think, yes, I need to see more from this person. So if you're one of those people, let me know. I'm sure the people watching this video were not the people watching the first time who gave me a hard time. I'm sure only the nice people are here. So thanks for being awesome and for your patience as always. And enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you for the next one. I'm assuming that is out before this one. Excuse me. I remember, uh, who cares? I'm not even gonna, let's not get into it. I don't know if I was eating animal crackers back then, a year ago, but animal crackers have become the go-to snack for reaction videos. <sighs> Mocha, decide what you're gonna do, please. Are you gonna sit with me or what? She's gonna move along. I don't know. I'm probably just digging myself a hole here. A grave, really. <laughs> the Tool Army is very protective of the lyrics and how you are wrong. <laughs> so.